Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to City Field in New York. Phillies baseball radio on TV simulcast. It'll be the Phillies and the New York Mets here. A Memorial Day edition of Phillies baseball on the Phillies radio network. Phillies come into this game with a win over the Nationals. They won it 4-1 yesterday. And now they look to win their second straight ball game. And we'll build a little winning streak. Kevin Slowly on the mound for the Phillies with a 4-2 record against Matt Harvey, 3-4. And, and Ryan Sandberg. Starting lineup with Ben Rivera, Perez, Belche third, Jordan fourth, Brown fifth, Ruff sixth, Utley seventh, Michael Franco eighth, and the pitcher slowly will bat ninth. Lineup going up against Matt Harvey. Harvey three and four with a 3.49 ERA, 54 strikeouts, 24, 21 walks, and giving up 52 hits and 56 and two thirds of an inning. Defensively for the Mets, the pitch Rucker, Rucker, catch it, do the first base, Flores at second, right at third, Herrera, shortstop, Granderson, left field, Jimenez, and center field. Beautiful day for baseball here at City Field. And Ben Rivera will lead off for the Phillies. He's driving at 260. He enters the game with a 14 game hitting streak. And we're ready. A Harvey sets. And here's the first pitch of the game. It's low for a ball. One ball and no strikes. First pitch, 1-11. Here's the 1-0 pitch. And low and inside. 2-0. Harvey ready. The 2 0 pitch. In for a strike on the outside corner. Two balls and one strike. Happy Memorial Day to everybody. Hope everybody's enjoying this day off here. The 2 1 pitch. Swing and a pop up. And the catcher will make the play near the Mets dugout. One down here in the first. Ben Rivera got a late swing. He was right down the head of cut at it, but off the top of the bat. And here's Salvador Perez, who's betting at 239, four home runs and 29 RBI. He's batting second, Sandberg. Implemented that new lineup. Harvey ready. And the pitch to Perez outside for a ball. One ball and no strikes. Salvador Perez usually would hit seventh or eighth in the lineup. Now he's the second in the, the lineup. Here's the pitch foul. One ball and one strike. Harvey ready, and the 1-1 pitch. Swing and another foul, one and two. Now the 1-2 pitch. Low, two balls and two strikes. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. Two outs here. And the rig up Adria Beltre. Here's the pitch to Beltre. In for a strike, no balls and one strike. Beltre batting at 277 with four home runs and 25 RBIs.
Here's the 0 1 pitch. Side football, one ball and one strike. I'll be ready. Here's the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a foul. And the count is 1 and 2 to Beltray. Get the sign. And the 1 2 pitch. Outside. Two balls and two strikes. Are we ready? And a 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He chased it outside. Low pitch. He struck him out. And now to retire the Phillies here in the top of the first. They go on order. We go to the bottom of the first. Phillies nothing. Mets coming to back. Here's the lineup for the Mets. Jimenez, Newhouse, right third, due to fourth. Granderson, fifth. Flores, sixth. Wrecker, seventh. Dilson Herrera, eighth. And Matt Harvey, batting ninth. They'll go up against Kevin Slowey. Was four and two. And 19 games with 3.92 ERA. And here's Oscar Jimenez, batting at 211. Leading off for the Mets. Center fielder. Oscar Jimenez. Now Kevin Slowey. And his first pitch is up high for a ball. One ball and no strikes. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Low again. Ball two, two and nothing. This is the first of a three-game series. Will we ready? And a 2 2 0 pitch is in for a strike. Two balls and one strike. Here's a 2 1 pitch. Swing and a ground ball to rough. He takes it himself and goes over the first for the out. One down here in the first. A scouting report on Slowey. You see the fastball, 86 to 91 miles. Think of 86 to 90. This slider in the high 70s, early 80s. The curveball, 71 to 75 miles an hour. And here's Kurt Newenhouse, batting at 226. Four home runs. Here's the pitch, and for a strike. No balls and one strike. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Up high for a ball, one ball and one strike. Here's the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a surprise shot caught by Utley. Utley extended the glove in the air and it went right to his glove, one down. That ball was hit, a hot shot. Utley had to leap and make the catch. Off his left foot. Here's David Wright, batting at 304 with seven home runs and 27 RBIs. And here's the pitch to right, is low for a ball, one ball and no strikes. Here's the 1-0 pitch. And for a strike, one ball and one strike. Slowly ready. And a 1-1 pitch, swing and a foul down the right side.
slowly ready. And a one-two pitch. Call third strike. He struck him out. And that'll retire the Mets here in the first. They go in order. We go to the second. No score. Here's Brandon Jordan batting at 302, four home runs, 17 RBIs. Here's the pitch to Jordan, swaying and a foul. No balls and one strike. Here's the 0 1 pitch, low for a ball. Jordan wearing blue cleats. All blue. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Swing and a little tapper for this foul. Behind the catcher's plate. Now the 1-2 pitch. Low and outside. 2-2. Two and two. Jordan's Trying to work on hitting the ball out of the ballpark. He has struggled doing that, but he's hit a lot of singles and doubles. Three, two, two, two pitches low for a ball. Three balls and two strikes. Harvey waiting. A 3-2 pitch. Call third strike. Got you and looking. One down here in the second inning. Bring up Dominic Brown. Here's the pitch to Brown. Bounced up there. One ball and no strike. Are we ready? One no pitch. And for a strike is one and one. Harvey, ready again, 1-1 one, one pitch, low for a ball, two balls and one strike. Jordan bounces the bat off both of his cleats. Harvey ready, getting his sign, and a 2-1 pitch, swing and a foul, and it's two balls and two strikes. Once again, the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down here in the second. Matt Harvey willing and dealing. As a second strikeout. And here's Darren Ruff. Here's the pitch to Ruff. Is low for a ball. One ball and no strikes. Darren Ruff batting at 347 with three home runs and 11 RBIs. Here's the 1 0 -oh pitch. Swing and a foul. One ball and one strike. The one one pitch. Swing and a miss. One, ball, two one and two. Here's the one two pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Three strikeouts for Harvey. In this inning, he strikes out the side. We go to the bottom of the second. No score. Four strikeouts for Harvey. Here's Lucas Seven.
slowly ready. And the pitch. Low four balls, one ball and no strikes. League leaders in home runs, John Carlos Stanton, 18. Lucas Duda with 11. He's fourth in the National League in home runs. Here's the 1 0 pitch. Low bounced up there. Two balls and no strikes. Here's a 2 0 pitch. Low again. 3 0. Here's the 3 0 pitch. And for a strike, it's three balls and one strike. Slowly ready. A 3-1 pitch. And for a strike again, three balls and two strikes. A 3-2 pitch on the way. Swing and a foul. Both of these pitchers are in the groove here. The 3 2 on the way again. And a foul. That's still 3 and 2. Slowly working quickly. The 3 2 pitch. Swing and another foul. Making slowly throw here. Once again, the 3 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. They'll bring up Curtis Granderson. Second strikeout for Slowey. Granderson batting at 225 with six home runs. He has 25 RBIs on the season. Here's the pitch to Granderson in for a strike, 0 and 1. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Swing and a foul, 0 and 2. 76 degrees here at City Field. Here's the 0 2 pitch, swing and a miss. He struck him out. That's three strikeouts for Slowey. Two down here in the second. And a bring out Wilmer Flores. Banding at 268 with three home runs. Here's the pitch to Flores in for a strike, 0 and 1. Memorial Day matinee here at City Field. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Ball. Outside, 1 and 1. Now the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a miss. One ball and two strikes. Now a one-two pitch, sway and a foul. Got jammed. Here's the one-two pitch, sway and another foul. Still one ball and two strikes. Here's the one-two pitch, swing the ground ball. A nice play by Chase Sutley, puts it over the first for the out. And that'll retire the side here in a second. The Mets go in order. We go to the third, no score. Leading off for Philadelphia, second baseman, Chase Utley. They'll bring up Chase Utley in the third inning.
Here's the pitch to Utley. In for a strike, no balls and one strike. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Swag and a fly ball to right field is going to fall in for a base hit. So Utley gets the Phillies' first hit. Newenhouse throws it back in. And Utley's aboard with a leadoff single here in the third. And I'll bring up Mike, Michael Mikel Franco. The well, pitch was right down the middle, and Utley slapped it in the right field. Mikel Franco is batting at 250. Stretch. And the pitch to Franco is inside for a ball. One ball and no strikes. No strikes. Shake it off. Let's get through. The stretch. The 1 0. Swing and a pop up. Near the near home plate. And caught. And one out here in the third inning. They'll bring up Kevin Slowey, who was batting at 167. Kevin Slowey. Slowey on the bunt. Here's the pitch. Chad the bunt up high. One ball and no strikes. Harvey from the stretch. A 1 0 pitch, low on the butt. No, Takes it low, two balls and no strikes. Here's a 2 0 pitch. Slowly on the butt, does bunt it, bunts it towards the pitcher, and he will go over the first for the out with a tough throw. And he gets the out. And the first baseman field this Harvey took a little bit long time to go over the first when he go over there just barely makes the catch thrown by the first baseman and goes over the first. But they'll score the sacrifice. Utley moves up the second and here is Ben Revere. Here's the pitch to Revere and is outside for a ball. One ball with no strikes. Revere is 0 for 1. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Outside for a ball, it's 2 and nothing. The pitch low, three balls and one strike. Salvador Perez waits on deck. Here's the 3 0 pitch. In for a strike, three balls and one strike. Matt Harvey struck out the side in the second inning. Here's the 3 1 pitch. Ball four up high, so Revere is on with a walk, a two out walk. And it'll bring up the Salvador Perez. Perez is 0 for 1. Here's the pitch to Perez. Is in for a strike. No balls in one strike. Stretched by Harvey. The 0 1 pitch. Swing and a foul. Beats a foul. Still 0 and 2. Excuse me, the count is 0 and 2. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. That's five strikeouts for Matt Harvey. The Phillies are retired. They leave two on base. The Phillies did get a hit in an inning. We go to the bottom of the third. No score here at City Field. 
Here's Anthony Recker, the catcher, batting at 133. Slowly. Ready? And the pitch to Recker. In for a strike, no balls and one strike. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Low for ball, one ball and one strike. Now the 1 1 pitch. Outside, 2 and 1. Here's a 2 1 pitch. Swing and a foul. Release. Trying to win their second straight. The 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Four strikeouts for Slowly. And I'll bring up Herrera. Dilson Herrera. Standing at 241. Here's the pitch to Herrera. In for a strike. No balls and one strike. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Swing and a foul. No balls and two strikes. Slowly ready. The 0 2 pitch. Low. 1 and 2. Here's the 1 2 pitch. Swing and a shot caught by Utley. And that'll. Be the second out. It'll bring up Matt Harvey. Got the outs mixed up. There's the second out. Harvey batting at 278. He's got two RBIs on the season. Here's a pitch to Harvey. Swing and a miss. No balls and one strike. Slowly ready. The 0 1 pitch. And for one strike on the outside corner. No balls and two strikes. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a foul. Slowly looking for his fifth strikeout. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Inside. Ball and two strikes. Now the one two pitch. Swear a fly ball to right field. Brandon Jordan will put it away. And now to retire the Mets here in the third. They go in order. Matt Baskerson comes your way in the fourth. It is no score at City Field. haven't been in too many good hitters counts. This is where you need to pounce. Now the 3-1 home. And that misses for ball four to lead off walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Still no hits on the ledger, but at least they get themselves a base runner here. And that's a step in the right direction. Kirk Neuenheis will stand in now. He'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Now some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. Has a look. Now the pitch. Opposite field to left. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. Well, this ball's hit pretty well, but this is a nice play out there to play the carom off the wall and then get the ball in quickly, and that's going to hold his man to just a single. That's a nice play. Here's the Philadelphia manager on his way out to the mound now, and it changes in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. 
so he'll depart here, but I would imagine he's seething inside as he hasn't given up a run this afternoon. Your David Buchanan please. is going to come on and make an appearance here, though I suspect even he couldn't have predicted he'd be taking over in just the fourth inning. Here's the third baseman, David Wright, as he will look at a first-pitch fastball for ball one. And you know, all you have to do is point back to yesterday's ball game. This was part of their downfall, hitting with runners in scoring position. They just couldn't sustain any kind of offense. So this would be a big boost if he could turn the tide a little bit here and come through big. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in a strike zone. The 2-0 home to right. Now a ball hit foul off to the right and up into the crowd. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. 2-1. Now the double steal is on here. Chopper foul. The 2-2 coming. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. Jordan is there and he'll bring this one in. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the corners now with one away. Good job there at second base of doing the math in his head and figuring out he can make it up to third. So that puts runners on the corners now with only one away. Lucas Duda will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. From the belt, kicks and deals. And he lays off for ball one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Well hit to right, but foul. Here comes a 1-2. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. Two-two. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. And a backhanded try, but it's just out of reach, and that's going to score the run from third. And you know, this is something these guys just haven't had for a while. That's an early lead. Although I guess they haven't really had any leads, period. And that's why they're on this losing streak. But a good sign here as he drives in a run to put him up 1-0. Jerome Williams is going to come on and make an appearance here, though I suspect even he couldn't have predicted he'd be taking over in just the fourth inning. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Into the box, Curtis Granderson, as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. You have to figure that sinker is going to be an important pitch for him here this afternoon. No question about it. Obviously, it's his ground ball pitch, so if you're a hitter, you're going to need to make him bring that pitch up. There's one on to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Boy, and this would have been a really costly double play, but fortunately, he's hustling all the way down the line, and he's able to beat that throw on the back end. Wilmer Flores. Get a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. First pitch coming. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. That's not a bad idea right there. Take a pitch. Make sure you get a good look at him and what he's throwing. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And a backhanded try, but it's just out of reach, and that's going to score the run from third. And that'll plate their second run of the game as they take a 2-0 lead.
Anthony record. We'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home here in the inning so far. Now here's the first pitch. The cutter runs outside, ball one. One oh on the way. Swing and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep and you can't forget about it. This ball is gone. So a three run shot to left center and the Mets have got it up to a five nothing game now. Pitcher's got to be thinking, how can I throw a pitch like that in this situation? That thing was so right down the middle, it absolutely got hammered, and he knew it as soon as he let go of it. Jenmark Gomez is going to come on and make an appearance here, though I suspect even he couldn't have predicted he'd be taking over in just the fourth inning. Stepping in now, Dilson Herrera. As he'll reach unsuccessfully at a slider away, it's strike one. I think that man right there is reaching the end of his wits. Oh, his team is absolutely imploding right now, and it basically came out of nowhere. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. The 1-1. One, one. Outside, two and one. Now the two one pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. The two two. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. Big blow being this three-run home run. We're through four, and the lead is now 5-0. Darren Ruff will step forward now to lead things off, and after that last half inning, his guys are going to have some work to do. Yeah, those five-run innings are tough to bounce back from, but there's still time. They don't need to panic. They just need to focus on getting a few guys on base here. Here's the first offering. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Here it comes. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. A look at our line score here through the first four. And as we've mentioned, just one hit for these guys this afternoon. Chase Utley will stand in. A base hit his first time around. First pitch coming. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Now here's the pitch. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. One one on the way. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. One, two. 
Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Yeah, he's not trying to hit him, I don't think, but sometimes you need to keep guys honest up there. I think that's all he was trying to do there. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at 2-2. Two and two. And he couldn't get on top of it as this has popped up behind shortstop. Herrera takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. Boy, that's just another off-balance swing right there. Not only are these guys light on hits, they're not even making solid contact right now. Michael Franco will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. Now the first pitch. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Now the pitch. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Here's the 1-1. One, one. That one finds the target on the outer half. It's one and two. Yeah, one pitch away now from getting through five shutout innings. And I'll tell you what, the way he's throwing, this could turn out to be a night off for the bullpen. Here comes the one two. This is hit out to right. Does he have another one two three inning? He does. Seven in a row he's set down now as the side is retired. Phillies down in order. Need to get it going soon. It's five nothing. Matt Harvey will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Here's the first offering. Ball. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. and Here's a 1-0. And he watches one miss outside. 2-0 and now. You've got a guy up there who can't hit a lick. I just don't know why you're not coming right after him with fastballs. Here comes the 2-0. Uh -huh. Take sign must have been on there because that's right down the middle. Strike one. Here's the 2-1 and one pitch. Two. And a strike on the fastball. So from 2-0, and oh, it's 2-2 two and two now. Two two pitch on the way. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The two two one more time. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. Well, yeah, but even though that's just going to go in the books Center as a strikeout, it was pretty expensive Oscar in terms of pitches. Minutes. And when you think pitcher on pitcher, that's what you'd like your guy to go up there and do. At least give someone a battle. Oscar Jimenez will dig in. He walked and later scored last time. First pitch on the way. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Bases are empty, one man out. The pitch. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Now here it comes. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Now another 0-2. And a hard sinker there, chopped foul at home plate. One out, nobody on. The 0-2 once more. 
And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Gone! A mistake on 0-2 gets punished, and it's a home run. And how about that? Oscar Jimenez has got himself his first big league round tripper. We'll have to wait and see how many more of these he can mount in his career, but for now, I'm sure he's happy to say he's got his first. Well, I think that any kid who's ever dreamed about playing this game dreams exactly this, watching the ball disappear over the fence, then circling the bases in a big league ballpark. I'm sure he was practically floating as he jogged the bases. He'll be replaying that at bat over and over. You know his phone's going to blow up. He's going to be calling his mom, his buddies. Everybody's going to be talking about this one. And in now following the home run. And you wonder if that losing streak is about to go by the wayside. Well, they're not home yet, but certainly this has been a much better performance than we've seen out of them for a while now. So all signs seem to be pointing to a potential victory. First pitch coming. Oh, and this one has hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder, but that'll hit off the wall in left center. Around second, he'll try for third. The relay, the tag, and he's out at third. And a poor decision to try to stretch it that time. Well, once his ball got out there, you figured it was a sure double, but he decided to risk it and try for three. It's a pretty big gamble to take when you're already in scoring position, and here it doesn't pay off. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. You know, it's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. Two out, nobody on. Here's the pitch. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. And now a pitch on the way. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Another 0-2 home. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now the pitch. swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory and he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory and that ends the inning but the Mets are able to tack on one thanks to the solo homer five innings complete it's the Mets six and the Phillies nothing Xavier Paul will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth Number 28 Xavier Paul And, oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike, nothing in one. And after that call, you know he's got to be turning around to say something like, hey, you know what? This guy doesn't need any help. And the pitch. Back-to-back -back fastballs here as he takes control 0-2. Uh, you can tell he's still frustrated after that first called strike. That's still on his mind. Now here's the pitch. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Can't imagine guys like that too much. Yeah, not too much indeed. You start getting into the danger area when it's up and in that eye. Grounded fouled off to the left, so they'll do it again. He'll try again, one, two. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here and it remains one and two. Again, a one, two. 
Nope. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a one and two pitch, especially after fighting off so many pitches leading up to that one. Here he comes on two and two. Now here's another pitch fouled off and heading for the seats, and he's just fighting to stay alive here, still two and two. The two two one more time. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. And you know what, guys? This is a big league battle going on right now. Neither guy wanting to back down. No sign of weakness on either side. 3-2 pitch. Now a ball hit hard, but foul as this one forces the third base coach to dance out of danger. Full count pitch on its way. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's going to be a base hit. So a great job off the bench, and he's aboard here to lead off the inning. Just the second hit they've got against him so far as we check on his numbers to this point. He's pretty much been in control all afternoon, so we'll see if he can keep that string of zeros going. Ben Revere will stand in for the third time now, still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. All right, man. Now here's the first pitch. In there for strike one, 0 oh and one. All right, leadoff man on first. Here's where you got to start clawing your way back into this ball game. It's not too late, but it needs to start happening soon. He's ready now. The pitch. Good break to that one, and he's in command. Nothing in two. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. You got to think about bringing that one right back. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. You can't underestimate how important a start this is when your team's on a losing streak. He has been phenomenal. And it's all thanks to him that they've got a good shot at ending this thing. Salvador Perez will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ball. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Come set, now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit on the ground, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. He set, now the pitch. Slider, good two-strike pitch, but it misses 1-2. and two. Runner at first here, one man out. Now the one-two struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. All right, folks, montage alert. Here you get a look at his performance so far. Ten strikeouts for him in the ball game as he continues to just plow right through this lineup one after another. Adrian Beltre will stand in. He struck out and popped out in two trips. First offering on the way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And this offense has just been stuck in neutral. Even when they get a guy on to start the inning, they've got nothing to go with it. He 
base ready. Now the pitch. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Well, one thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. Here's the one and one now to Beltre. Now a bullet foul as the third base coach had to give her the old ole that time. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Here's the one two. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. Here's the two and two home. Swing and a liner towards second. Throw in time and the side is retired. One left for Philadelphia. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Justin DeFreitas will come on now to try and sort this mess out as he'll likely be asked to go at least a few innings here. Lucas Duda will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. And a check swing here. They'll point down to the third base umpire, but no swing on that one. It's ball one. Now here's the pitch. Got him to swing at a pitch below the knees, one and one. Boy, when he's got that thing going good, it just takes a nosedive right at the end. Here comes the one one. This for Utley at second. And a rather easy first out. And that's what the two-seam fastball will do for you. Running away, not just for strikeouts, here he gets him to hit it on the ground for an easy out. Curtis Granderson will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. And here's the first pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball 1, 1-0. One and it's worth pointing out that they're burning through that bullpen here in game one of this series. That could have an effect on the rest of this week. one -oh. And this will be fouled away. Faces are empty, one man out. Now here it comes. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Oh, nothing fancy. Three fastballs so far in this at bat. He could go just about anywhere from here. Granderson waits on the one two. And here's a slider that runs inside that time. And that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Yeah, I don't think this is a guy you want to mess with here. He can hurt you in more ways than one. Sets the 2-2 pitch. He'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Here's another 2-2. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. The 3-2 pitch. And this is swung on, and it'll be another chance out there at second. Throw gets him, two down. The batter, number four, second baseman, Wilmer Flores. Wilmer Flores will dig in, one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. Now the first pitch. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Two out, nobody on. Now the 1-0. -oh. 
Up Four. top, it's 2-0. Oh. When you're down by six on the mound, you got to at least throw strikes here. 2-0 oh on the way. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. The relay, and the gamble will work out. He's in at second base with a two-out double. And this is how you break out of a cold streak. This is his second hit of the ball game. This one goes for extra bases. You can see that confidence is slowly starting to come back in the play. Anthony Record will stride in again as first we flash you back to his at-bat in the fourth inning, and what a big one it was. A three-run home run that was certainly one of the big blows in the ball game to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. The 1-0. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Well, you can tell he's trying to work that pitch away, but he might have left that one a little more over the plate than he intended. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Fouled back. He's set, now the pitch. Ball swung on and lifted in the air with some carry out towards left center. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. On to the back third here this afternoon, and we've got it for you on the show. Seventh inning, Mets lead is 6 nothing. Brandon Drew leads off the seventh. Here's the pitch, he's in for a strike. No walls on one strike to Brandon Jordan. Matt Harvey, 10 strikeouts in this game. They only allowed two hits. An excellent performance by Matt Harvey so far, working with a 6 nothing lead. Here's the pitch to Jordan. Up high, one ball and one strike. Yeah, the Phillies aren't able to get anything going off of Harvey. Nothing at all. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. Swing and a foul down the right side. One ball and two strikes. Here's the 1-2 pitch. No, that's a ball. Just outside, 2-2. Two and two. Yeah, Matt Harvey's just working. No problems whatsoever. He's throwing 97 pitches. But he's willing and dealing. Here's a 2-2 pitch. Inside, full count to Jordan. Dominic Brown waits on deck. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Way and a fly ball pretty well hit the center field. But Oscar Jimenez will there and he'll put it away for the first out. One down here in the seventh and he'll bring up Dominic Brown. See Harvey's line, two hits, six and a third, one walk, ten strikeout. He's throwing 99 pitches. Dominic Brown trying to get something going for the Phillies. Here's the pitch. In yeah. for a strike, 0-1. 100 pitches now for Matt Harvey. And six and a third innings. You think Terry Collins would like him to get through the seventh? Here's the pitch. In for a strike. Phillies just had had problems swinging the bats as of late. I mean, they won the game 
took two out of three in, against the Nationals, but really haven't done it with the long ball. The go two pitch swing and a miss, he struck him out on a high fastball. That's 11 strikeouts from Matt Harvey. And I'll bring up Darren Ruff. Harvey ready. And the pitch to Ruff. And for a strike. No balls and one strike. Now the 0 1 pitch. Swing and a miss. No balls and two strikes. Fans anticipating a final strike here for Harvey. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a foul. Harvey ready. The 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out and has 12 strikeouts for Matt Harvey. In seven innings, the Phillies going order in the seventh. We go to the bottom of the seventh, six nothing New York. Your attention, please. Ken Giles is the Phillies pitcher. The Phillies have used their bullpen again. Giles one and two in his 26 game, a 3.09 ERA, 23 innings, three walks, and 19 strikeouts. Jake Diekman's up in the bullpen now for the Phillies, and here is Dilson Herrera. Here's the pitch to Herrera, down low for a ball, one ball and no strikes. Here's the 1 0 pitch. Sway and a fly ball pretty well hit the deep left field. Brown going back, it is gone. Just over the 358 sign. Jason Herrera, his first home run of the season. And the Mets now lead it 7 to nothing. So Herrera and catcher Anthony Recker both hit their first home runs here on Memorial Day, their first home runs of the season. And it just gets over the 358 side. There's Matt Harvey. He's over two. They're going to keep Harvey in the game. And they say, why not? Here's the pitch to Harvey, swaying and a foul. Here's the 0 1 pitch. In for a strike, is no balls and two strikes. Aikman ready. The 0-2 pitch. Ball. Outside for a ball. That's one and two. Mets have hit three home runs in today's game. Here's the 1-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. That's the first out. So Harvey goes down swinging. I don't think he's concerned about that right now. They got a 7 nothing lead. Oscar Here's Oscar Jimenez. A little curveball, a little slider off the plate. Oscar Jimenez homers in the bottom of the fifth. Hit off the top scoreboard. Deakman ready. 
And the pitch to Jimenez is in for a strike. No balls in one strike. Phillies right now, they just look out of sync. They really didn't have it coming into this game. Phillies had 12 hits against the Nationals yesterday. But only scored four runs. And we thought that lineup was well, going to be a start of something special, but here in today's game, Matt Harvey has shut the Phillies down. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Swing and a ground ball back up the middle, a base hit in the center field. So Jimenez is a one-out base runner. The right fielder, number nine, Kurt and it'll bring up Kurt Neuenhaus. Nolan House is two for three. He doubled and singled. Digman ready from the stretch. And the pitch to Nolan House is outside for a ball. Slowly had a pitch three in the third innings. Ryan Sandberg took him out after he gave up a walk and gave up a single. And he did not want Slowly to get any damage done to him, so he took him out. But he's on the hook for the loss because he was responsible. Here's the 1-0 pitch swinging a foul. He is responsible for the two runners on base. But the Phillies' bullpen struggled a complete opposite from yesterday. Here's the 1-1 pitch swaying and a foul. One ball and two strikes. Digman ready. And a one two pitch. Swaying and another foul. Still one and two. Digman waiting. And a one two pitch. Inside almost hit him. Digman from the stretch. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Upside, full count. David Wright waits on deck. Digman at the belt from the stretch. The 3-2 pitch. Swag and a ground ball to Utley. Goes over the second for one. Back to first, a double play. And that'll retire the Mets here in the bottom of the seventh. Mets get a hit. And a home run by Dilson Herrera. Two hits, excuse me, in the inning. The Mets lead it 7 nothing. Here's Chase Utley leading off in the eighth. Matt Harvey still in the game. He's at 106 pitches. And here's the pitch to Utley. Little half swing foul. No balls with one strike. Now the 0 1 pitch. Ooh. They called that a strike. It looked like it was low and inside. They called it a strike. No balls and two strikes. It is the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a well hit ball to left. Yeah, as far as carrying deep, it's going to bounce off the top of the wall. Utley is going to lead off the eighth with a double. The batter, number seven, shortstop, Michael Franco. And I'll bring up Michael Franco. A nice double for Chase Utley to get the Phillies started here in the top of the eighth. They've had their problems. That's Utley's eighth double of the year. Mikel Frankel's 0 for 2. He popped out. Here's the pitch to Franco. Swig and a base hit the right field. Utley looks low. Round third. He's going to be waved home. Here is the throw to the plate. Not in time. And the Phillies get their first run of the game. 
It is a seven to one ball game here in the eighth. On an RBI single by Michael Franco, his first major league RBI. And Ryan Howard will be the pinch hitter for the Phillies. Harvey still in the ball game. Mets do have some bullpen action. Here's the pitch to Howard and is in for a ball. Unballing no strikes to Ryan Howard. Now the 1-0 pitch. Low, two balls and no strikes. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Low again, three balls and no strikes. Ben Rivera waits on deck. Howard's been struggling as of late, but he's a pinch hitter now. Here's a 3-0. In for a strike, it is three balls and one strike. Harvey, 114 pitches. Here's the 3-1. Swing and a little half swing. They're going to go over the first for the out. A sacrifice good for Howard. Moving up to second is Franco. And Howard broke his bat on that. He'll bring up Ben Revere. Rivera is 0 for 2. His hitting streak is in jeopardy. He's 0 for 2 today. RV still in the game. Here's the pitch to Rivera. Sway got a foul. And what a catch by a fan. A one-handed catch. Right in balls and one strike. Here's the 0-1. Sway and a Fine ball in a shallow center field. Jimenez is there, and he will put it away. And there is 0 for 3 with his hitting streak in jeopardy, unless the Phillies make some noise here in these final couple of innings. And they'll bring up Salvador Perez. Perez is 0 for 3. Harvey ready. And the pitch to Perez is outside for a ball. One ball and no strike. Here's the 1-0 pitch. And four strikers on and one. 119 pitches for Matt Harvey. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Bounced up there, two and one. Here's the two one. Swing and a base hit in the center field. Franco rounding third. Here's the throw of the plate is cut off. Franco scores and it's now a seven to two ball game. On an RBI single by Salvador Perez. So Harvey gives up two runs here in the bottom, top of the uh, eighth inning, and Terry Collins might be on his way to the mound and make a pitching change. And yes, he will. And Harvey tips his cat to the crowd. And Bobby Parnell will be in the pitch for the Mets. Another game, 2-0, three saves, a 1.59 ERA, 11 in the third innings, three walks, and 14 strikeouts. And here's Adrian Beltre. He is 0 for 3. Here's the pitch to Beltre. Swag and a base hit the right field. So Beltre is on. 
at first. Perez is at second, and they'll bring up Brandon Jordan. The Phillies trying to chop into this lead a little bit. Josh Egan is in the Met bullpen now. Here's the pitch to Jordan, is in for a strike. No balls and one strike. A stretch. And the 0 1 pitch. Swing and a foul. No balls and two strikes. And the 0 2. Swing and another foul. Parnell from the stretch. And the 0 2. Swing and another foul. He's hit the ball hard, but foul. Now stretches. And the 0 2 pitch. Ball. Inside, one ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes. Right now, from the stretch again. And delivers the 1 2. Ball. And sit down and low, two balls and two strikes. Now from the stretch. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Swing and another foul. Still 2-2. Two and two. Now the 2-2 two -two pitch. Swing and a fly ball to right field. Pretty well hit. Jimenez on the track. Makes the catches. Hit pretty far. But Jimenez puts it away, and will retire the Phillies in the eighth. They do get two runs on three hits. They leave two, go to the bottom of the eighth. Mets lead it seven to two. Your attention, please. Jake Dickman into the, the game, pitching for the Phillies. His 24th game with a 1-0 record, a .81 ERA, six walks, 22 strikeouts, 22 in a third of an inning. It is David Wright. He'll lead off the eighth. Here's the pitch to right, in for a strike. No balls on one strike. Aikman ready. And the 0 1. Swing and a foul, 0 and 2. Here's the 0-2. Little outside, one and two. Now the one-two pitch. Swing and a fly ball in the right field. It's gonna drop in for a hit. Hitting the shallow right. Jordan couldn't get to it in time. It drops in for a base hit. And right is the leadoff the eighth with a single. And they'll bring up Lucas Duda. Oh, David Wright is such a good player. Duda's one for three. He has an RBI. Six of the seven Met runs have came off of home runs in this game. Here's a pitch to Duda in for a strike. No balls and one strike. Mets with 10 hits in the game, the Phillies with six. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Inside, one ball and one strike. Now the 1 1. Swing and a miss. One ball and two strikes. Curtis Granison waits on deck. Here's the one two. Swing and a miss. Duda strikes out. One down here in the bottom of the eighth. 
And they'll bring up Curtis Grandison. He's 0 for 3. He hasn't had a hit in this game. A pitch to Grandison. Low and outside. One ball and no strikes. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Outside, two balls and no strikes. Phillies would like to give their bullpen a rest here. Their bullpen has been overworked in the last couple of games. And they do need a quality start from one of their pitchers. Here's a 2-0 pitch inside corner for a called strike. Two balls and one strike. Bigman ready, the 2-1, swing and a foul. Count is 2-2. Two and two. Not a 2-2 two -two pitch. Outside, a full count to Grandison. Bigman stretches. A 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Two straight strikeouts for Deakman. Two down here in the eighth. And to bring out Wilbur Flores, he doubled and singled. Deakman now from the stretch. And the pitch. And for a strike, 0-1. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Swinging a foul off the home plate. No balls and two strikes. Now the 0 2. Inside, 1 and 2. Digman from the stretch. And the 1 2. Did it hit him? That was a wild pitch. Perez throws over the second, not in time. So it'll be a wild pitch or a pass ball. It was behind Wilmer Flores. David Wright moves up to second base. I just scored a wild pitch. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Inside, three balls and two strikes. And Mets fans thinking that they're for trying to throw inside and try to hit him. It is a full count. And it's going to 3-2 pitch. Swing and a ground ball foul. And a third base side. Digman again from the stretch. Here's the full count pitch. Swing and a ground ball. Oh, nice play by Utley. He fires over the first for the out. A diving stop by Utley. And he throws over the rough for the out. What a play by Utley. Mets leave a runner on. We go to the ninth. Mets lead it 7-2. Here's Dominic Brown. He is over 3. The left fielder, Parnell is still in the game. Here's the pitch to Brown. It is low for a ball. One ball and no strikes. Here's the 1-0 pitch. A high football, 2-0. Now the 2 0. -oh. Low, 3 and nothing. Darren Ruff waits on deck. Now the 3 0 -oh pitch. Swing and a foul. Right down the middle. Brown got a late swing. Now the 3 1. That is ball four. Brown will walk. 
He leads off as a base runner here in the ninth. And they'll bring up Darren Ruff, who is 0 for 3. Here's the pitch to Ruff. Bounced up there. Gets away. Here's a throw to second off the bag. Brown comes in and he takes second base off of the wild pitch. It was off of Rucker. Rucker could not find it. And Brown takes second on the wild pitch. On ball and no strikes to Ruff. And a 1-0. That's in for a strike. One and one. Now the one and one pitch. Swaying and a foul. That was one and two. Now the one two. Low and outside, two balls and two strikes. Police trying to do a late inning rally here with Brown at second base. A two, two pitch. Swing and another foul. Arnell stretches. Two ball, two strike pitch. Swing, a fly ball to left field. Curtis Granderson there. And he'll put it away for out number one. One down there in the top of the ninth. Oh, bring up Chase Utley. He doubled and singled. Right now from the stretch again in the pitch. Half swing foul. No balls and one strike. Now the 0 1 pitch. Brown a second, one out. Mets lead it 7 to 2. Here's the 1 1. Swing and another foul down the first base side. Akal Franco waits on deck. Now the one-two pitch. Ball. Bounced up there, two and two. two, two Here's the two-two. Swing and a ground ball, a little topper off to the second baseman, fires over the first for the out. Moving up the third is Dominic Brown. So with two outs, Mattel Franco, the last hope for the Phillies to keep the game alive. Franco's one for three with an RBI. Parnell waits. And the pitch to Franco outside. One ball and no strikes. Parnell ready from the stretch. And the pitch to Franco. On the outside corner, one ball and one strike. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. One and two. Mets fans anticipating the final strike here. They're on their feet. A stretch by Parnell. The one-two pitch. Inside, two balls and two strikes. Parnell stretches. The 2-2 pitch. Inside and low is three balls and two strikes. Dominic Brown will be off and running here. Stretch by Parnell. And the full count pitch. Swing and a miss on the low pitch. He struck him out, and that's the game. The Mets win it by the score of 7-2 behind Matt Harvey's 11 strikeout performance. And 
and the Mets take game one of this three game series. A valiant effort for the New York Mets, Matt Harvey, Rocker Herrera, Jimenez, homers for the Mets. And the Mets win it by the score of seven to two. For the Phillies, two runs, six hits, no errors. For the Mets, seven runs, ten hits, no errors. The winner goes to Matt Harvey. He is 4 and 4. Kevin Sloy with the loss. He is 4 and 3. The player of the game was Matt Harvey. Final score Mets 7, Phillies 3. We will talk to you next time on the Phillies Radio Network.